hey guys welcome to this week's vlog so i haven't done a voiceover in a while guys and i just thought i'd do one for today and by the way i have some new subscribers on my channel guys welcome thank you so much for subscribing if you're new here my name is rayana and i do content on home and lifestyle so this is going to be a day in my life at home this was just one of those you know fine weekends that i thought of vlogging so i've started out by making my bed and yes that's me making my bed nowadays you guys by the i don't put a mattress cover on my mattress just because i realized the one i have the cheapies they make me sweat the whole night because they have that car nylon paper i think i don't know what that is but that thing it's not comfortable sleeping on that mattress cover so i'd rather double up on my bed with two sheets yeah and it's more comfortable i find it more comfortable like that but the main reason i'm showing you this part was because i own um very colorful duvets and bed sets um this was before i made over my bedroom and painted it green but I didn't want to do away with my bedding. So what I did is I just came up with something like to make it look cute but on a budget. And yes guys, I do layer two duvets because Nairobi is a freezer right now. And also if you can't tell, my favorite color at one point in my life was red. I believe it still is. The throw I'm going to show you right now is thrifted. I got it for less than... 500 shillings and i think it just makes my bed looks cute but on a budget you know so i don't have to throw away my two colorful beddings and i can just cover the two greens and the maroons and that, <laughs> that used to be my old style before but not anymore yeah so i think if you're into it maybe if you have those colorful beddings or duvets maybe this can work for you you can try it out especially for the ones who admire white beddings and are afraid to maintain them i think this is a good trick to have up your sleeve because now you can just go thrift throw blankets white throw blankets they are easy to change they are easy to clean so come on when you let me to a shortcut this is for you <laughs> My OCD checked in, guys, there. <laughs> so next, I'm um, in the kitchen now. I soaked, remember those cups I bought from Carrefour? I soaked them. If you want to remove those stickers easily from your cups or from anything that's glass, really, just soak them overnight. It will be easier rather than just washing them directly. It's easier if you just soak them in water and let them stay overnight. And by the way, cheke yo sufuria. I'm just making use of it before I throw it out. <laughs> so yes, and remember that mboga I bought? This is managu and spinach that I'm going to be preparing today. So that's in the list of things to do for today. But before that, I want to make myself some breakfast, you know, some coffee like this and use that car almond milk that's, uh, by the cost me. Okay, I don't want to say an arm and a leg because that will be exaggerating. But, you know, guys, uh, yeah, it's not cheap. But yeah, I don't want to do like plain. Okay, there I'm taking tea. I thought it was coffee. Guys, voiceovers. <laughs> I'm just getting into this voiceover, so please, Muniwi Eradi. Mm -hmm. Almond milk has like, I think it's about 24 calories per 100 ml. So it's very healthy for those people who are very health conscious. So for me, because I've started out, okay, I'm always on a health journey, guys. I keep struggling. I don't know why. I just, oh my God, you guys. But you know what? This year I've tried. 
I can pat myself on the back and say I tried. And please do not judge me with these buns. Guys, if you've tasted these buns from Carrefour, these chocolate buns, bro, bro, ata wewe, by the way, ata wewe utakotuna zikula weekend, utakotuna sema, mm-mm. It is Sunday, it is Saturday, I need to treat myself. Instead of just nyimaying myself everything by the day, I eat whatever I want during the weekend. Then during the weekdays, I can be as disciplined with my diet as I should be. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my breakfast. Mm. So as I have breakfast, I'm just going to be catching up with my favorite realities. And yes, those Slippers that you see there are from Miniso. I love them. They're so comfortable. So right now I'm watching Love and Marriage Huntsville. I don't know who's watching it. I don't know who's catching up. <laughs> yeah, I love this show so much. It has drama. It has, it's just, it's amazing. And it's also a sunny day today, which I really appreciate. As I catch up with Melody and Martel Holt, those are characters from Love and Marriage Huntsville, guys. Don't judge me. I know guys say that reality shows actually fry your brain cells, but I don't really care. And I'm not ashamed because it's my guilty pleasure. And it's something I like to catch up with during the weekend. So I'm just about this life, you guys. <laughs> so that's Managu that I'm preparing. I don't know the name of Managu in English. What's Managu in English, guys? Please let us know in the comment section if you know. So what I like to do is just to prepare this during the weekend so I can have something to eat during the week. So I do like a batch prep of all my mbogas, the mbogas that I like. Mostly it's usually Kenyiji mbogas. I don't know how to say it in English, guys. Help a sister out. Yeah, because I'm just done with the whole skumawiki stuff. So kale and cabbage. Kwanza, I hate cabbage, guys. My mom would have a fit if she saw this. Guys, growing up, we were not allowed to make mboga in the living room. Like, in whose living room? Not in Jennifer's living room. But because I pay my own bills and I own the things in this living room, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> but let me just vacuum it for the sake, you know, make mama happy when she sees this vlog. And also, I get a lot of questions about this vacuum cleaner. It's a Samsung dry vacuum cleaner i got it from naivas about three or four years ago so i can't link it anywhere like I, guys i don't know if it's even in stock you can just check naivas and see for yourself okay so now here we are i'm just washing my mboga the managu um i wash it like three to four times because sometimes you can get it a bit soiled so you want to wash thoroughly then i'm just going to chop it up not necessarily concentrating on the size of the chops you know because this kind of mboga it shrinks you guys so yeah so i'll just be chop chop with that and then i'll get into my spinach i like mixing my managu with spinach so i'm gonna wash it up first before i cut it so that's what I'm doing right here. And you just want to make sure again, wash thoroughly or else you'll just be eating some grains of soil in your mboga. So <laughs> you have to wash thoroughly. Again, please don't concentrate on the size of the chops, you know, because <laughs> these things shrink. Once you put them on heat, like they shrink. So it doesn't matter the size I'm cutting them. All that matters is that Zinalika, okay? So don't judge me. <laughs> I'll just place it on medium heat and then just leave it to cook. And now I'm just washing this full flour that I have in my kitchen. It had a bit of dust. The vase had a bit of dust too. So I'm going to wash that. Just make sure everything is clean. 
and then dry it outside as I wait for my mboga to cook, you know. I also realized the side of my cooker is very dirty. So I got some astonished citrus grove to clean it out. But it may back it so I was just using the last bit of that astonished product and I got the new one that I have which is the orange grove. I actually prefer this one guys to be honest. I've used this a couple of times and i kind of prefer this one. i know i told you guys to get the lemon one okay they are more or less the same this one smells more orangey the other one is more lemony but i feel like if you need a change if you're done with the lemon one get this one i also like the smell it's really nice and look at that it leaves my oven looking clean can you compare the before and the after right right Let's check on our hamburger guys. So it looks good. I like it like that. Yeah. I told you guys it would shrink. So I'm back here to go say. But I let it sit in the heat for a few more minutes. In the meantime, let me continue frying my brain cells with another reality show that I love. This is put a ring on it. Darion. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I cried with Alexia, you guys. If you watch this show, oh my god, I was so freaking mad. My burgers are done, guys. So, yeah, they are cooked. And I've just placed them in this tin so that I can place them in the freezer. And I can just be cooking them during the week. So, this is what I do. I won't fry them today because I don't feel like eating them today. But I'm sure I'll need some during the week. And that's my freezer for you guys. Yeah. And just to end this video, um, let me show you what I got from House of Leather. I got this storage bin for like, I think it was a thousand bob. I wanted something I can place my cleaning products because usually they're in my kitchen, yes, but they're so exposed. I feel like every time I'm doing a vlog, they're just there staring at me like, <laughs> you know, we are here, masabuni. So I thought it would be nice if I get a storage bin for them. And I think this storage bin is so cute. I was just swiping that caprice because it was a bit dusty. Yeah, with the orange grove again. I really like it. It really smells nice. So I'm just going to arrange all these cleaning products in there. I think the end result was looking great. Yes, guys. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this type of vlog. I rarely do voiceovers, but if you're about this life, please let me know in the comment section. My voice is not the most appeasing right now, you guys, because last night, last night, last night, I had a long night, but it was a good night. <laughs> but, you know, I had to get a vlog out and this wasn't planned okay i didn't plan for my voice to be groggy but here we are but here's the vlog so i'll see you guys in my next vlog guys thank you so much for watching let me know of other ideas that you'd like to see on my channel and of course i'll work on them bye